Alright, so you've been thinking about applying for software development jobs in Germany, but don't know how to choose the right ones. I guess so if you clicked on this video, but what we're gonna be doing today is quite different from all other YouTube videos on this topic. I'm gonna go through job postings that LinkedIn recommends me as a JavaScript developer with some background in machine learning, and we're gonna go over specific points in order to be able to determine whether this is the right job for you and basically uh, if it's worth applying for it. This isn't easy to do. There are literally hundreds of job postings which get updated every month. So it would technically take you years to be able to apply to all of them, which means you need to be able to filter them out. And this is what this video is about. So if that's what you need, then I'm your guy and watch this video till the very end because I'm gonna give you a bonus tip which actually helped me back in the days to find a job. So let's get started. So we're gonna be using LinkedIn in this video, which is one of the biggest players when it comes to job search, if not the biggest one actually. There's a German version of LinkedIn called Xing, but or Zing or Xing, I think it's Xing. Uh, but still, LinkedIn is way bigger and has more job postings than any other website. I'm gonna be linking the other ones in the uh, in the video description, so make sure you check them out if you have if you want to have more options. But for me personally and uh, many other people that I know, uh, LinkedIn is just enough because nowadays most of the companies are making sure that they post their open positions on LinkedIn as well. So this is my profile. And if we scroll down, we will see that most of my positions have either are, are either related to web development and uh, or, or deep learning, like in this case. So basically, let's say I'm, I'm a JavaScript guy, right? And if you scroll down even further into the skills, you will see that most of my skills are literally a mix of uh, web development and uh, machine learning. You can see artificial intelligence, uh, web applications, TensorFlow, jQuery, I don't know, you get the point. So um, I, I have skills from web development and AI, which means when you jump over to job sections, which is our video is about, so make sure you click this button, jobs. As soon as you jump to jobs, LinkedIn will start recommending you jobs based on your background and skills that we just saw on my, on my profile. So we have some suggested job searches, which don't actually make sense. Cashier manager, why, why would I apply for a cashier manager? I don't know, let's close this panel. Below that, we have recommended for you list, which is the one that we need. I Some some of them are highlighted in red uh, or purple because I already opened them once, so never mind. And this is where we're gonna be finding our jobs basically that are suitable for uh, to us the most based on our skills. Uh, there are a lot of them. It's, it's never ending, so which is good, but of course, all of, some, some of them have like 5,000 applicants, some of them ha have only four. It's weird that LinkedIn is not sorting them automatically, but um, let's start one by one. The first one, you see, I'm not sure if you speak German or not, hopefully you do, but it's not a problem if you, if you don't, you can still, as an IT person, you can still find a job in Germany without speaking German. Just watch my previous videos, I talked a lot about this. So let's open the first one. As soon as we open the first one, we need to wait a bit <laughs> and now it's open. We will see that the hiring manager, they actually put a long sentence into the title, which translates as a, uh, as, as a full stack developer, you will shape the future of the train schedules or whatever. So it's kind of it's kind of a nice. They're already kind of kind of clickbait. You already know what you're gonna be doing. But what I want to focus on this job posting is that it's in German. So if you don't speak German, I don't think you should be applying to this. Please, I wouldn't, because well, some people are filtering uh, non-German speakers by this, which which means they actually don't want a non-German speaker but especially if they have the sentence, which means, well, let's translate it. You have very good knowledge of German. So if you don't have a very good knowledge of German, you probably should skip the job, the job posting. The good part of, about this job posting was, if we go back to the list, is that it has only one applicant, 
Just imagine, and it's been posted a week ago. They probably need someone urgently. And if you, and if they literally have two applicants, then you have 50-50 chance of getting hired. And um, why did I close this? this? Let's open it again. You have 50 chances of getting hired. And this company is a one of the biggest companies actually. And the way to determine this, and I suggest you do this all the time, this is the company that you're applying to. Just, just Google it. You just copy it and you Google it. What is it? Deutsche Bahn. This is the railway, national railway company of or Germany. 42 billion revenue, euros of revenue, which means it's huge. So I would personally like to apply to this company if I were you. But as, I, as, as we saw, it doesn't really fit our needs. Let's say I don't speak German and then, then I wouldn't apply to this. If you do speak German, go ahead. Let's, let's jump into another one. SAP. I'm not sure if it's popular in your country, but in Germany, it's also a very, very famous company. Basically an ERP, they, they produce an ERP software uh, that a lot of big companies use. Probably Deutsche Bahn also uses, uses SAP. As soon as we Google them, we will see that, okay, SAP ERP, but this is the actual company, ah, 27 billion rev of revenue. Yes, this is a huge player. So uh, I think I think it's a good place to work actually. Pay, okay, let's, let's just open this one. You wanna pay attention to their responsibilities. So as a, as a job, as a person who serves, uh, look, looks for a job, I wouldn't, I would really wouldn't spend time reading all of this. I would really jump into requirements and uh, responsibilities, for example. If one of those responsibilities don't fit you or you don't feel comfortable working on, for example, they will, if they, if they have, you will be working on WordPress 24 seven. I wouldn't apply to this job, right? So make sure the respons- uh, the, the, these points fit you. And when it comes to requirements, like technical requirements, make sure you tick at least 80% of them. So for example, look at, look, let's look at this one. HTML, CSS, I do know this. Adjust Cucumber, WebDriver, IO, I don't know what this one is. Selenium, I do know what this one is. And a TypeScript, React, React, MobX, I have no experience with this. WebGL, also no experience. Graphics programming, also no experience. So I would say in this case, it's like 70% that matches my skills. So actually, even though Canva is a good company, I really wouldn't apply to it because as I said, 80%. In my case, I think it's 70%. So I wouldn't, I would not apply for it. So what I wanna say, pay, pay attention to those techni- technical requirements. Let's get, let's get back to the list. I'm not gonna show the Amazon one because as I said, if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and apply to it. So let's jump into another one. Uh, For example, Zalando, which is a big retail company in Germany. They basically deliver clothes to your home. And if we look into the job requirements, it's in English. As I said, there are many of them that are in English. And um, I'm taking all of these I have a, they don't require German, so I would definitely apply to this company. And and if you read uh, where your expertise is needed, it looks pretty interesting. So this is a green light for me. And yes, I do have LinkedIn premium at this, at this moment, but you don't really need one. Let's see how many applicants they have. They don't really have even 10. So that's, a, that's a, wait, actually let, 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 let me make sure. Okay, they don't have, they don't have the number of applicants here, but it seems like they also don't have that many applicants. So it, this is also a really good sign. Another one that I wanted to show you is this one. React Frontend Developer from Orange Quarter. Um, this is a special case. If you Google the name of the company, as you should, as I told you, you will notice that this is Orange Quarter. Let's get acquainted where Orange Quarter leaders and recruit. Okay, so this is a recruitment company, which means, as you can see, they don't, they haven't listed the name of the company you would be working for. They are literally the intermediary between you and the company you're applying for. So you actually don't know which company you're applying for. 
you, you will probably have a call with them, which are in quarter, and then they're gonna ask for your technical skills, not, it's, uh, no, no coding challenges or whatsoever. They will basically contact the company on your behalf and say that, hey, we have a candidate. If the candidate gets hired, we get a one month of the one year of the salary. So, for example, imagine you get hired, and this to to the company that stands behind Orange Quarter, and Orange Quarter will get 20k of um, remuneration because they recommended you to them, which doesn't make sense to me. You literally don't know which company you're. In. It's, it's Quarter is working with a Berlin-based startup. Which startup? Nobody knows. Although perks are short, requirements are short, which I really like, uh, short and sweet, but I wouldn't really apply for this. I don't know which company I'm applying for. But what I wanted to show you, there are that there are also good examples of recruiters uh, and recruitment companies contacting you. For example, look at this one. I got this one um, fairly recently and I have an email, hey, blah, 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 company vision, company product, challenges, responsibilities, everything and everything that I need and location, Berlin and salary. So thank you so much, whoever sent it to me. Thank you so much for including the salary because yes, salary is important and I will not waste any time uh, calling with the recruitment agency, agency just to find out that my salary is gonna be below what I'm earning now. So um, this is a really good example, 80k euros for a front-end developer, actually um, senior JavaScript developer is, is, is actually pretty good. So this is a good example of recruitment companies contacting you. But if you're on LinkedIn, I wouldn't personally apply to, in, in this case, to a recruitment company, let them reach out to you. All right, let's dive into a bonus tip that I wanted to tell you. The bonus tip is, let's click once again to jobs. Okay, we're already on the jobs. Let's say um, iOS developer, right? Let's say you're an iOS developer, you develop apps for iOS. And in Germany, we ser we're searching in Germany. As you can see, there are again, a lot of positions that you can apply for, but there's a trick you can use in order to increase your chances. So you can see most of them are zero applicants, which is amazing. Okay, this is top down, where well, maybe it's not relevant, but um, most of them have, uh, let's say, okay, this one 15, Google probably has thousands. And a good trick that I used to do whenever I was looking for a job is to use LinkedIn filters. So you press all filters, which opens you a panel. And in this panel, you basically scroll down. I'm not sure why they're hiding this. There's a section called under 10 applicants. Just turn it on and search again. As soon as you search this, LinkedIn only shows you job postings that have very few applicants, which means, for example, if you're applied to these positions, you're gonna be the fourth one, which increases your ch ch chances of getting this job a lot, which is amazing. So IBM, Literally 19 hours ago, no applicants apparently. Go for it, I'm telling you, go for it. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you have any, any questions regarding this topic, like specifically this topic, please write me a comment down below. I will try to answer as soon as possible. And um, I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope this was easy. I hope you learned a lot from this video, especially from the bonus tip. I, I don't think many people know about it. So I'm wishing you a nice day and uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and you learned something from it. And I will see you in the next one.